acute kidney injury um, is a definition of damage to the kidney. Kidney is usually a sympathizer with whole body inflammation. When the inflammation happens, when blood pressure goes down, kidney is uh, an organ that gets damaged. And uh, this damage can leave scars in the kidney that future, uh, causes future chronic kidney disease or uh, can increase the chance of need for dialysis. Certainly, avoiding progression of acute kidney injury uh, can help with uh, uh, avoiding cause and improve mortality and morbidity in the future. That is very well documented in literature. Uh, kidney is a very sensitive organ. Uh, it's a cannery in a tunnel. Um, it gets damaged really easily uh, when inflammation is significant enough to cause other organs to uh, get damaged as well. So therefore, uh, detecting acute kidney injury can help to understand the prognosis of uh, other organ failure as well. Well, recently, in the past 20 years or so, there is a lot of attention to acute kidney injury. The reason is that the recent data shows that acute kidney injury is associated with higher mortality and morbidity of ICU patients. Uh, even in hospital patients, patients who have very minimal acute kidney injury, they, uh, they die significantly more than other patients and, uh, who did not have acute kidney injury. And uh, apart from that, uh, patients with acute kidney injury has, have higher chance of development of end-stage kidney disease within a uh, year or two after their episode of acute kidney injury. And uh, they are more vulnerable for next round of acute kidney injury as well. So it is a significant cost, a significant morbidity to patients and hospital costs. In our study, uh, we looked into um, uh, initially about uh, uh, 500 patients. Uh, we tried to find the markers in the urine and plasma that could predict acute kidney injury about uh, 12 to 36 hours prior to the current markers. This time is critical because uh, this allows us to provide prophylactic measures or start treatment uh, of the acute kidney injury or studies on acute kidney injury that can improve the outcome. Indeed, uh, cardiologists did the same thing about uh, uh, mid-1990s with uh, coming up with troponins that improved their outcome and now they have many inter uh, interventions that can improve outcome. Uh, so in our study, we identified two biomarkers out of a list of 340 biomarkers that uh, subsequently validated in a, a large multicenter trial in North America and Europe. And these uh, studies, uh, these two biomarkers were able to detect acute kidney injury about 12 hours to 36 hours prior to current, uh, current uh, way of diagnosis. Certainly, if we can uh, start using these biomarkers in clinics uh, and in research, we can certainly come with uh, ways to treat uh, acute kidney injury well before it establishes to a level that can worsen mortality and morbidity of these patients. Uh, indeed, uh, in Europe, uh, it is in clinical uh, use. Now we are uh, in a phase of initiation of FDA trial. Hopefully, if FDA approves it, then it can be used in clinics as well. Um, again, if we use uh, uh, analogy of uh, anal cardiology as analogy, uh, we can see that acute kidney injury uh, could be treated uh, however, now we are losing critical time when cells are injured but they're viable. When we diagnose acute kidney injury, indeed cells are dead and uh, there is a very difficult uh, situation to bring those uh, cells back. We just need to maintain patient at this point. However, this gives us opportunity to provide treatments uh, that we can avoid further injury or reverse the injuries, so therefore improve the outcome. This is, this is uh, the goal in the future, and we ha uh, have to wait and see how the therapeutic interventions based on these biomarkers would, uh, would show results. Well, um, acute kidney injury, even very minimal rise in uh, biomarkers, current biomarkers of blood, uh, which is serum creatinine by 0.3 milligram per deciliter, is associated with about a $25 to $5,000 increased hospital cost. 
and we are hoping with avoiding progression of acute kidney injury, uh, we can decrease length of stay in a hospital admission, plus we can uh, decrease the hospital cost both, uh, by avoiding further renal replacement therapy uh, or, or other measures. Uh, therefore, uh, eventually in the future, these biomarkers can potentially help uh, to decrease this cost significantly.